Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Convergence. Last time we left off we spoke with Frank Lyons and it seems that he mentioned some place called the Mineta, like a tavern right here. Every time he mentioned it, he kind of like, seems like he had like a different personality. And we learned about this guy named Joe Gould, who I guess was like a bohemian, you know, a homeless guy wandering around the village around the 50s and 60s. And I can already tell that for a reason it seems like he's taking over Frank's body or something time to time. Uh, but we gotta find out more with whatever and see if we can find out where the hell Frank lives. But I don't know. Damn, I was hoping that a uh, guy was gonna maybe Claude was gonna be here. I don't know. I don't know what to do at the moment. Hi there. Sure. Um. I guess I can talk about these two, or maybe Frank's apartment. I don't know. What are the chances of you knowing where Frank Lyons lived? You a groupie or something? Uh, no, not exactly. Hell, either way, I can't help you. Ah, damn. Worth a shot, I guess. Anything else? I don't know much. If you want to know more, lots of artist type. Yeah. Hmm. I guess something's gonna trigger. I guess Claude coming in here. I'm assuming he's a bunch of different artists and whatnot coming in there. Uh. Let's back to here now. What do you mean? What do you mean? So I'm thinking maybe it's raining. Maybe we'll do something. Claude, maybe, maybe I can talk to you again. I knew you. I mean, which you know you're Frank. Um. How did I? Maybe I can. Could I ask you? Huh? Oh, let's. <coughs> Damn! I thought maybe I can trigger something different. I, oh, let's try. <coughs> but it doesn't look like it. Why um, do you keep? Uh, what? Look, we do. Okay. I'm... Never mind. What about me? What about? Me? Joey, can you talk? I don't know what else to do though. Hello, friend. Did I already talk about everything oh, here? Hey. Say, is your name Joe Gould? No. You forgot my name already, huh? Oh, no, no, I was just checking something. The name Joe Gould doesn't mean anything to you, does it? Joe Gould, huh. You know, it does, but I can't say why. Say is no. Oh, the name Hey, Frank, could you- Uh, I really- Oh, okay. Why would it? For hey, what if- Nothing! Say, can you talk to seagulls? What? No, I cannot talk to seagulls. I can it's a beautiful language. Congratulations. For once, I'm totally speechless. I apologize. I was skipping through that quite a, quite quickly. I thought it was like same the same stuff he was gonna say, but uh, I don't think I can go through that again. Damn it! I'm still dizzy from the last time. Yeah, I, I apologize. I'm sure that was like, a really funny thing. And, uh, sorry. So tell me about yourself, Frank. Oh, I'm just. I'm, just, I don't, I'm not. I just I'm trying to see if there's anything different here, anything else but can tell I about, can't see no, anything. Not really. We're so close. Oh, I thought you said him something about a cat. Hey, have you ever no? Mm. Say you no. Know. Oh, the name. Yep. Hey, uh, Joe. I, Gould. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't think I can. I'm well, sure. I'm thinking here, but I don't think you. No, I knew you. I don't think. Is that something I gotta do now? Is like I can actually present stuff to people? Um, uh, I kind of want to ask Josie about uh, freaking Claw to see where the hell he's at, but I don't think that she'll tell me. And she'll stop moving around. I'm kind. No, you're not busy, damn it. Um. Have you ever no? Have you ever no? No. Do you? I don't. No way. Have you? What did I do? Oh, I know you guys probably sure pissed at me. Pharaoh, come on, it's not that hard. At the same time, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Hmm. It has to be something, like, super, like, obvious, I guess, as well. I just, I'm not seeing it. Come in. Oh. Or maybe it's one of those times oh, where... Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. Okay. Cat came in. I guess that's different. Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me! Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. 
She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. What does that ID tag of yours say? Ow! Damn it! She's a little black. She's wearing a... Uh, well, didn't Monique say Ilsa? So it's whatever. I guess Joey needs to go and talk, or just look at it. Can't animals see the... Like, see... Hey, little fella. Hey, little fella. Oh, he's distracting the cat for uh, so Rose can take a look at it. All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Good. Ah, uh, so yeah, that must be his apartment. All right, thank you, Joey. I was just I was just about to say maybe I should go around places as Joey. I was about to know what else to do, so I'm kind of glad that uh, I came here. I guess the rain, I guess because uh, I triggered Elsa coming back into the house, so, or in, in the building, so. Alright, here's Frank Lyon's apartment. Take a look at it here. Creepy-ass music, though. Really creepy-ass music. One of Frank's neighbors, I assume. That's not... What was the door again? Was it for it? Um, well, yeah, okay. I was gonna say... I thought, was, I thought it was going to continue on the door That's here, or like the hallway, but nope. Locked. I have a paper clip. No wonder we still have it. Key? Who needs a key? How's it going there? Oh, just fine. Almost got it. Uh huh. Any second now. Damn it! What happened? The paper clip broke. It broke. It's jammed in the lock. We couldn't get a key in there now, even if we had one. The master criminal at work. Oh, poor Rosa. Look what you did. But, Joey could buy face through the door. Maybe we can find something in there. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. Hmm. All right. This music is, uh, making me a little uneasy here, but, uh, here's his apartment. Looks like a food and water bowl for the cat. Ugh, there's still some food left in there. Hmm. Let's see a poster? It's a poster for a romantic comedy. Looks like our boy Frank had a supporting role. Could never really stand romantic comedies. Not really my thing. Looks like a film script. Aha! I'm sure if we memorize this, we'll get somewhere here. I knew you'd come. How'd you not come? I know you, Vaughn. Listen, I have something to tell you. Come on. I'm not going. Here we go. So that's new. I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. Okay. I gotta remember that, I think. Uh. Magazines, a box. There's nothing in there but junk. Junk? A bunch of magazines related to the film biz. Celebrity gossip, most likely. It's nice to see that some things never change. Oh, celebrity gossip. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, it'll always be like that. Ugh. Looks like Frank was a collector of old film reels. I wonder what he played them on. Tape, huh? I think this is called a VHS tape. It plays movies. It's supposed to be the latest thing. Not really. No, not anymore. <laughs> but I, re I remember those days. Oh my god. I, I have a whole stack of VHS tape tapes somewhere, but... Uh, good old days rewinding the damn tape and everything. People nowadays, they don't know how rough it was back then. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Sing to it? It looks like a still from a moving picture. I think I recognize Frank in the background. Let's see what else we got here. Tissues, yarn. Okay. Maybe Frank had a cold before he died? At least I hope so. I don't want to think about what those tissues were for. <sighs> I was thinking it, not gonna say it. Oh, sweet, a ball of yarn. For the cat, I guess. Uh, let's just, yeah, I'll assume so anyway. It's a movie poster. Looks like hard-boiled detective schlock. Frank Lyons starred in it. Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. 
Frank Lyons has got top billing. I don't recognize anybody in those photographs. Frank's television, cold and silent. See, that's all we can get through here, so... Rosa. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. Sounds like a film script. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movie since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they want the player to put two and two together, but kind of obvious. Let's go back to the Gotham Bridge and uh, work out the scene of Frank here. Maybe we can get somewhere here with it. Hi again. I knew you'd come. All right. How'd you know? How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. I need to tell you something. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. I'm not going! I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? You're staying. Wait. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't lose your temper, I don't know. Listen to me, I'm trying to help you. Help me? I'm not the one who's never m Okay, wait a minute. No, mess it up already. I was trying to be, you know, do it all in one shot, but uh I'm not I guess it's repeat yourself. I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with um Tom. Tom? Tom? What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh, he's a good man, Zack, and he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, let's talk about this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne. Wait. Yvonne. Yvonne. Yvonne? <laughs> All right. Finished. Finally. Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is everybody? Hey, come on guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? Is that a wrap? So I think we did it. Guys, where are you? I think we're close. We gotta just kind of coax them out a little bit more, I think. Frank? Oh, Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you are. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Something is not right. I was here, filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so... Cliche. I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but... It doesn't. I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. That's all you need to do. You know, my very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in the third grade. I played Scary Ghost Number Three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the same, huh? You're bigger than you think. Really? The movie was a big hit. Everyone knows your name now. They do? Figures. I'm famous and all I had to do was get choked to death. Yeah. Wait, what? You weren't choked. You had a heart attack. No, I was choked. 
I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny. It doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around, and thanks. Just a few questions. Damn it. Huh? Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, it can't be. I can still help you. No, oh, you're dead, aren't you? So many dead. So many blight upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Did you kill Frank? I helped him. I get no thanks. You want me to thank you? How about you buzz off? I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady. Get off me! Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey! You stay away from her, you hear me? I... I'm sorry. Joey, who was that? <sighs> Trouble. Well? Well what? Who is she? Her. She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. You're lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey, please. <sighs> yeah, I know her. She calls herself the Countess. She's from an old case, back when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? Haha, <laughs> well, let me, just, let me just speak real, real quick here. As soon as he said he was choked, I'm like, holy crap, you know, just like the last game, not a countess was going, going around choking people, because she thought she was helping that, and then, oh well, yeah, we, she shows herself, but the way she said, oh, it's her, and saying I'm sorry when she sees Rosa, it's a, that was a little odd for me there, I don't know. But, uh, let's go ahead and just hear the long version for the hell of it, why the hell not. Tell me everything. We thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the street, ranting like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. She thought she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow, they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums do best. But they were still alive. She didn't seem to realize that. In the end, she tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost? I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Sure, sure. I'll hold the fort. Don't even know why we're here. But it seems like a perfect place to stop the, uh, stop the video, though. That's for damn sure. But, yeah, why are we here? And I can't go anywhere besides going outside. Or look at a portrait. Hmm. But it makes me wonder what the hell 
they're saying in the background though. I'm sure if I if I play the game again with commentary, I'm sure uh, I'm sure I'll figure out or don't tell me what that what's going on there. But uh, yeah, man, I thought we were done with the countess, but um, I love how all the games in the series are really you know putting everything together. You know, you know there are certain games out there that I just they just continue on, or sometimes they don't really go much into each other, you know, they're like, oh, whatever, but I guess a series like this, they kind of needs to. I can imagine a Blackwell series being one long game, you know, um, but you know, whatever, I, I enjoy these games a lot, I mean, I think I'm, I'm more recently more, gotten more um, interested in these point-and-click games and whatnot, I mean, back, um, when I was younger and whatnot, uh, I really wasn't too much a fan of them, but uh, here, I don't know, I guess I respect them a little bit more. I guess it is interesting to kind of solve these mysteries and solve these puzzles, in my opinion anyway, even though it's quite easy sometimes, and I know sometimes they're, it's just a matter of time before I try figuring it out, but um, I have fun with it, and hopefully you guys are having fun too. But next time I guess we'll figure out where, why the hell we're here, and see what the hell's going to be happening. So. As usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Blackwell Convergence. I'll see you guys later.